Welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today we're going to share how to use OneNote tags. So I've created a sample notebook here that a hotel is planning to use for its New Year's Day menu at every hotel in North America. I've organized the menu here and all of the party necessities to make sure everything goes smoothly. I've created my menu here with a shrimp cocktail, artichoke dip, mushrooms, sliders, and drinks. I've also created a playlist here, instructions on the cookies, and I've created a list of guests that are staying in the hotels that have dietary restrictions. So, to learn more about tags, check out this area of your OneNote page. Here you'll have listed all your tags, and you click this arrow here on the bottom, and it expands all the tags available for you to use. A lot of what you need might already exist, but if it doesn't, you can customize tags and create your own, or remove them. The to-do tag comes in very handy, and it's an interactive box you can actually use to check off or uncheck. And then find tags is really useful when you're looking for a certain tag you assigned but don't remember where you put it. To show you how the to-do tag works, I've added one to the roasted shrimp cocktail. I know that this menu is still being put together, and I still haven't wrapped up the final touches to it. But once I do wrap up those final touches, all I need to do is click this here, and the check mark populates. Also on this page, I've got a light bulb down here, a tag that I added earlier. It's an idea for the presentation platter. If at any point I want to remove the tag, I'll just hover over, right click, and select remove tag. On the sausage stuffed mushrooms page, I've also created a to-do tag here, and I have one here as well called important. I know I have some guests staying in the hotel that are allergic to nuts, so I starred this here to make sure I hold the nuts for those guests. On my Dirty Martini page, I've highlighted bitters here to remember that I need the bitters later. For the playlist page, I've added tags called music to listen to. I need to check out tracks 8 and 9 to make sure they sound okay and it's appropriate for the party. For the holiday cookies page, I've added a tag address because I need to look up the address for Sarah Lee's Bakery and make sure the distance isn't too far and I can afford the travel time. Now on this page, I have all the guests listed with dietary restrictions, and I need to go through and add ones that have specific dietary restrictions. So to add a new tag, I'll click up here in this arrow and select Customize Tags. I know that some of these guests have nut allergies, as well as a few are vegetarian. So I'm going to add those two tags. I can select a custom icon to represent the nut allergy. Let's go with the green star. So I know that Electo Caro has a very bad nut allergy, so I'm going to add that, as does Mafalda Hopkirk. Victor is a vegetarian, and so is Ludo Bagman. Now, if at any point I need to go and find my tags, I'll select Find Tags up here, and this pop-up menu will appear. What's really useful is that it places every tag that you've added in your notebook. So if I forgot about the Let It Be Beatles track that I needed to listen to, all I need to do would search the find tags and search where I added the tag music to listen to. Hope you found this tip helpful to learn how to use OneNote tags. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.